Groovy Groovy Girls, you join me for a new vlog and we are currently just walking to our boat. Today we are doing the Noosa Everglades tour because we actually arrived in Noosa last night. I didn't vlog anything because to be honest all we did was cook some food and we did karaoke which was actually hilarious. I'm really proud of all of us apart from Byron because he didn't get up but that is like something I would never ever ever do. Today we're doing the Everglades. The water isn't that bad. It kind of looks like the inside of a monster can but it's quite warm actually. So we're doing canoeing today and this is one of the two Everglades in the whole entire world but this is the only one that you can swim in I think the other ones in America I'm not really too sure but yeah I will take you along with me and hopefully you enjoy the rest of the days in Noosa with us why is the water this color I don't actually know I might be. <gasps> oh. It's wetlands, so they probably will be. Why is it so rockety? Please stop that. How are you doing? Oh, guys. Oh. Yeah, but he did say it gets to. No, he said it gets to six meters further in. Oh no! Oh, it's got deeper. Yeah, can't put my paddle on the floor anymore. Oh, I wish I didn't know that. Oh, Byron, stop pissing about. Byron, why are you making it rock? If I stop rowing, Anna, that doesn't mean you stop rowing. It's because we've. No, I'm stopping because we're turning too much. No. I can hear you from I can hear you as well. Oh, I can. If I stop, it's because we're turning too much. Like, why are we turning too much now? I am. I don't think I can paddle any harder. Look at Jazz not doing anything. I'm scared of knocking into these girls. Because if we do, we're actually goners. <gasps> Guys! Don't. I'm so scared of water. Please don't. Why is it so rocky? Why aren't... Why is it rocking so much when one of you make the slightest movement? All good? Oh, are we turning? Hey, girls. Hey, queen. Uh, am I going to go into this f***ing twig? <laughs> I don't want to push into them, though, Byron. What are you doing? Steer it. It's Byron. He wants to crush into you. How far is it? Yeah. Can't be. The other people are walking 75 minutes. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, paddle a bit faster. Smile. Also, now you smile. Yeah, because we're actually we're going at a good speed now, Byron. Oh, I left. Stick. Stick. Fine. Oh yeah. Can you see so? I left my stick. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you. Yeah. Should we float? Have a break. Well, we're going straight, aren't we? They're going to be with my phone. Let me do an air wrap. Imagine me. We're not. We're all good. See, look at you getting panicky now. Uh, no, babe, if we hit it, we'll capsize. Yes, you will. God, have you not watched videos? We'll get that back. She got that little turn in. <laughs> that looks scary. What is all of that? <gasps> We're tipping. Byron. Smile. Okay, guys. So, guys, what would you rate it? I thought it was very beautiful and peaceful and calm. So I'm gonna give it a solid eight. It is tiring. Not as tiring as kayaking, though. No, no. nowhere near as tiring. My arms do feel a bit but like lovely, peaceful. Low current. Love this. What about you? You know what? I actually really enjoyed it. Apart from the mini arguments. It was not really an argument. No, just getting straight into it. I've 
thing you saw from us 
was probably really embarrassing. Um, lovely little dance battle. <laughs> so when we stayed at Nomad's Noosa, we actually drank a lot and a lot of alcohol and we were hungover for two days. So we actually ruined it for ourselves and didn't go out and explore and everything like that. But the other guys were absolutely amazing. Um, very, very, very tiresome, especially after the 40 minute argument that me and Byron kept having. But apart from that, it was actually really peaceful. So from now on, the rest of the vlog is us in Fraser Island. When we first got here, I didn't really film much because we were just like getting to know the island and stuff. We also visited Lake Mackenzie, which was so incredible. It was like crystal blue waters. Oh my God, it was just absolutely insane. There wasn't much wildlife in there. There was only two types of fish and two types of turtles. We did hear a little boy though shout like, mama, I found a turtle. It was so cute. Um, we did try to run over there, but obviously you can't really run in water. So we didn't get there in time. So today the girls are off-roading. Yesterday we had Jeff, who is our dingo's tour guide, driving for us um, because he also needed to get here, but he's going in someone else Today. I'm actually so excited to see them do it. I feel like you'll be really good. I think once I get into it, I'll be really good. Yeah, I think Jazz will be good. I think Byron will be too much of like I a. Yeah, I feel like Byron will be a bit too scared. And there's also a girl called Shannon. So the two girls you would have seen in the videos at Lake Mackenzie is Shannon and Philippa. We actually met them on this tour. The loveliest girls ever. Everyone here is so lovely. There's like a big group of 30 people who have all like traveled up the East Coast together. So at first it was like a little bit difficult to get in with them, but then like me and Byron started talking to them and it was actually so much easier. I feel like you just have to take the plunge. At first I was feeling very much like, oh my God, I don't know if I can do this. I'm feeling like lonely, even though I've got like my friends with me and stuff. But after last night, yeah. we had a bit of goon, I feel we had some food. Yeah, we got to know them and it was just taking that first little leap. So I'll be filming a lot more today. Yesterday was just getting to know the island. Um, and yeah, let's go. Know that I got you forever. Love and she got it together. Switching it up when she want. Yeah, I seen it the day that I met her. Rocking it off white sweater, shoes but take a vanetta. Hey, yeah, know you got it, girl. Set the bar then shot it. Yeah, yeah, slip and slide and yeah, ain't tricking unless you got it. Yeah, can't break that bond, match the charms and unless she wear everything done. We done did it and we took it there. Cause I see you looking like this. This is the reality of Fraser Island. I feel like it's gonna be quite smooth. Regions, different seasons Hop in my back and I stay in it Hit from the back and I stay in it He is not damn, don't play with her She is not damn, don't play with her I got a R-O-D, she got a P-N-C Baby girl, you know you was made for me Hop in my back and I stay in it Hit from the back and I stay in it She is not damn, don't play with her Jazz, give us a big smile. Jazz Are you nervous? I am a bit nervous, can't lie. Jazz is our designated um, driver we're in for the today. We're all, we're all off, we're going. Do yeah, I do handbrake first and then... Babe, I don't just know, I don't I drive. First bit, what drive. Says. I have no license. Just drive, girl. Look how blue that is. It's like turquoise. It's like three different shades. Yeah. Oh my God, get me in. I actually can't wait. Oh my god, it's so cold. Oh. Wow, this is incredible. Oh my god, this is amazing. Is that fish in here, do you reckon? That'd be so clear. Let's see what's underneath, shall we? <laughs> This is probably the weirdest thing anyone's ever going to see. 
but um, we've just discovered the they sand can actually clean your jewelry and clean your teeth. So um, I mean, we're having a little morning session here. Huh? How stupid are we? Yeah. I feel like it generally has white. No, but I have heard that before though. Around is... It's got. I know how shiny that is. We did my necklace. It's like with the, the water is now listerine. <laughs> what, so it's not actually real. Absolutely tipping it down, but it smells really nice. It reminds me of my childhood. My garden smelled like this when I was younger. But I think we're gonna have a really bad storm. We had not a bad one yesterday, but it was just like quite bad lightning and stuff. I think we're gonna have another one of those. Camping is gonna be so fun. <laughs> I'm actually really enjoying it though, because it's been so hot today. But this rain, it's amazing. Guys, welcome to another day in the life. Wilson and Kat. Um, <laughs> we're here today recording live from wow, the Fraser so Island. Really Recording live. Well, what do you want me to say? Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to 2012. <laughs> Guys, Jeff has a f snake. I don't know how he even managed Jeff to see that though. It was on the back of the other people's car. How did they notice that? This is what I mean. Maybe Unless they saw it, it, yeah. Someone's just struck it. What the f it looks it's dead. Okay. It's, it's dead. Bad. It's not alive. Oh, that's sad. Yeah, it's a snake. <laughs> oh my it's god. Come on, Jeff. You're a vlogger today, babe. It is, is a it tree alive? snake. It was likely picked up by a bird and dropped on oh, the beach. Oh no. my god. No, nah, you're not dead. Oh, oh wow. Yeah. So I'm going to put him back up in dead. the scrub so that. Yeah, it's very weak. Got hit by a bird and oh, I've got it. Oh, That's kind of cool. See, it's got almost a blue color. Yeah, what does that mean? Uh, they're called a green tree snake, but they can change colors quite iridescent. Oh, wow. Sometimes, so quite a pretty color. How did you even spot that? Oh, this is my job. I love it. <laughs> Guys, we're at Champagne Pools and the water is absolutely freezing and I'm trying not to slip on the moss because whew, that was close. There's like these little oysters all on the rocks that are actually really, really sharp if you slip. Crouching. What the f Yeah, that's a lot deeper than I thought it was. Holy shit, that's sick. It's recording, so... This is Shannon. <laughs> So we are now back from Champagne Pools. We're um, backseat wankers. Do you, do you use that term here? No. Backseat wankers. I've not heard it. I don't really know. I do get it. it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, we now have Anna driving. Uh, she's got Jazz with her in the front, and then Byron, Sophie, and Will. Hot guy in it, really? Oh, do you want to see Don't say that. Though. I'm really. Oh, but he looked at me. Oh, yeah. This is a dingo. It's weird how we saw them at the zoo and now it's just there. I know. Guys, this is the worst road we've been on and Shannon is doing her absolute best. You got it, you got it. Honestly, she's doing so well. How are you doing, guys? <laughs> it's like weirdly fun. I know it's not for you right now, but it is fun. What is this, like a big sand dune? Yeah. Sand blow. Sand blow. Thank you. <laughs> so we've just stopped off to see this absolutely massive sand blow. I think it's called knife blade sand blow, just so we can swap over drivers. But Shannon actually just got us through the trenches, I will be honest. She did so well. Every time like someone drives, we always clap because honestly, like it looks so 
hard. I'm so lucky that I'm not driving. Although it does actually look really fun. I'd love to drive along the sand. Sadly, I don't have my license. But I say sadly, that is my own fault. After this, I think we're going to a tea tree lake, which is really, really good for your skin. And apparently it's like a really sensitive lake as well. So we're not gonna be wearing any sun cream. You can kind of see it through the trees. Not a lot though. Also, another thing is when we first arrived, look at the trees, see how I'd like their charcoal. Jeff actually told us that this is the type of rainforest that requires fire in order to thrive. So like there's a lot of plants here that once they have smoke near them or something, they react and let off seeds. It's not all of the plants, but just most of them. The other ones react with fire and it opens the pods and lets the seeds out. So it means they can like fertilize and grow and all of that. I thought it was really interesting because when we first got here, I was like, oh my God, it's so sad. Someone's burnt it. And he was like, actually it's supposed to happen. So whether it's like a wildfire or someone's done it purposefully for the plants, it's all about the conservation of it and on top of that they sometimes do it to like minimize the risk of a massive wildfire happening and killing like so much wildlife so yeah i thought that was really interesting Maybe we go on and on. Say we don't care but Clear up your bloody beach. up so high but what it's worth Look how deep the rainforest goes. It's actually scary. Mm. To be honest, there was one point we were driving and it was like a big dip. You had the most exciting part of the journey. Uh -huh. <laughs> when you sit in the bag, it's like a roller coaster. It literally is. <laughs> With my clothes. Not all rave in the middle of the fing bush lane, yeah, right? Yeah, bush door. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, that was so insane. Um, when we all got out of the water, Jeff basically told us that that's like where turtles are. And it was the cutest thing. They were so small. And they came all the way up to the steps. It was absolutely adorable. And I feel like that's the first bit of wildlife that we've actually seen. We haven't really seen much. Hopefully, it just keeps coming. Get me up, so in, so I can find myself. We are now on route to go watch the sunset from a really pretty view. Our tour guide, Jeff, basically said that we can do this walk if we want to, we didn't have to. Well, we're actually outside the dingo fence right now. So our campsite is protected by a dingo fence. And on like the little signpost that says about the dingoes was these sticks. So we've all picked them up. And it's not necessarily like obviously to attack them. It's more so like if they come at you, which is very, very rare. Um, and we've been briefed guys, but I will just like update you. So the things that they said was to stand if you're in a group, never walk alone actually that's the first rule number two is if you're in a group stand back to back with your arms folded because if you remain calm they shouldn't approach you do not run away if they are approaching you and you're trying to leave the situation you have to back away slowly worst things the worst you clap because i don't like that <laughs> but if they came launching at you you can just hold it like that so hopefully we don't get approached by any we did obviously see one on the beach earlier but we were in a car hopefully this sunset's I'm worth it Nothing to hold me Run. back. Take my time. Just enjoy the ride. <laughs> I know man passing by. Life is good. We didn't get told. It's in the middle of fing nowhere. <sighs> Let's say something. Woo! I love you. Echo. You're an idiot. <laughs> oh, I we have made it to the sunset. It's definitely not the sunset that we anticipated because we thought it was like gonna be that side because we're dumb. But it's here. It's and they're all the way up there. I'm sorry, I'm just I can't do it. In the dark against it all, but made it through the day. Cause I find my way. I find my way. In bad times, I know I'll be okay. Cause I find my way. You go, go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you got up on someone's bum. Yeah. Yeah. Just stand on mine, stand on mine, that's fine. Ah! I don't quick, care, quick, I don't quick. Oh, that's his mom. Yeah, quick. Quick, quick, quick. You can do it. You can do it. One more, one more. You've got it, you've got it. Go. That was my final. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was 
the most wholesome experience ever. It was so beautiful. It actually got so much like prettier as we stood there. The sky kind of went purple and stuff. It was so nice. There's also like a bird here that sounds like a little girl laughing. Do you think? That's what you sound like when you're laughing. Yeah, when you laugh in your sleep, that's you. <laughs> so weird. Apparently it's shit shirt night for the big group of 30 people that are here with us. So that's going to be funny to watch. And yeah, I'll update you in the morning. <gasps> scared the fuck out of me. Guys, I made a new friend. I keep finding little spiders and making friends with them. They're so cute. The last one was called Harry. We can call this one Jeremy. This one's cute. This is a massive spider. <laughs> I don't want to. Aussie girls to the rescue. Fearless bitches. Did you get it? What? Is it definitely in there? Is it in there? I think so. So that is the end of the Fraser Island vlog. I'm not even being sarcastic when I say that's probably the best experience of my life for meeting people and everything. We just had such a good time. So thank you so, so much My Adventure Project for booking that for us because I wouldn't have changed a single thing about that trip. Apart from, I wish I could drive because the off-roading seems so fun. And I feel like if you're gonna drive anywhere and like be so carefree about it, it's Fraser Island. Highly, highly, highly recommend doing that, guys. It was such a bonding experience for us lot. We met so many lovely people, like friends for life definitely shannon philippa like oh my god i'm so sad that they're not coming on the rest of the tour with us definitely friends for life we already have plans for shannon to come visit us in england i'm gonna go see philippa and go skiing <laughs> in austria like oh my god there's so many places do not forget if you do want to check out my adventure project there will be a link in the description they have just set up a facebook page for anyone that wants to solo travel so that you can get to know other people that you'll be traveling with it's basically just to form friendships before you go on the trip because obviously that's so much easier knowing people before you go um tips and tricks and everything like that as well will be on there so the next vlog is early beach it's wit sundays i'm so excited for this scenic flight getting drunk on a boat it's probably going to be very very messy guys but i hope you did enjoy thank you so so much for watching this vlog i love you all so so much and i will see you in the next video